Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. I'm here with my aforementioned cup of tea, which I'll be trying to stealthily drink throughout the start of the stream. Um, we're here again playing some more of The Dark Crystal, which is to say the 1983 uh, adventure game adaptation of The Dark Crystal uh, by Sierra, uh, based on the film of the same name. Let me find the right scene. There we go! So you should now see the game and the map I've been drawing as we've been going along. There's a little bit of room there for any chat if anybody wants to chat along. Um, and by all means you're very welcome to. And you can see hopefully the predicament that we're currently in um, as per the, the very slow cliffhanger of last stream. Uh, Jen is currently tangled up in some vines uh, at one end of a swampland. So that's where we are. Well, how is everybody? I want to say hello. Uh, if there's anybody hanging around, anybody watching, um, you're very welcome. You're welcome to, to lurk, to chat. Um, it's always lovely to hear from people. And um, if, like me, this is your first time uh, playing the game and you've got some ideas you want to throw in my way, then please do. I think I always think adventure games work better as a cooperative effort. Um, so I've talked about what's on the screen. You should also be able to hear some uh, background music as well. Hopefully the levels for that are all right. I've, um, I've since last week's stream, I've changed myself a few times to um, to record other things. So uh, I had to change it back to uh, what I'd remembered was a good stream setup. So uh, if there's any any issues with the vision or sound, then do let me know, and I can try and correct that. Uh, but yeah, so let's I so let's jump back in. There's a few things to say really. So this is uh, this is where we are. Um, let me get us to the particular point at which we um, need to provide a particular answer, or are um, are doomed really. So uh, let's get Jen to do some things like call for help. Jen shouts help. Unfortunately, his call is not answered. Jen is in the swamp land. Uh, I guess I could look swamp. That's probably a thing you can do. The swamp is not too deep here. That's lucky because if you go where the swamp is deep, you do get rather stuck. Okay. How about if I try to cut the vine? Jen can sever no vine before it's time. Well, you'd think that might it might be appropriate here. Or if I use the shale, which is our all-purpose uh, sharp implement. Jen can't, the vines are binding him too tightly. Here we go. Looking out from his vine prison, Jen finds himself returning the gaze of a single eyeball, thrust up among the tendrils by a withered hand. Um, well, let's look at that eyeball. The hand holding the eye belongs to a strange and terrifying being. I am Augra, says the being, keeper of secrets and watcher of the heavens. Okay, uh, talk to Augra. Augra says, Galfling, you now answer to riddle, huh? Jen is in a swampland. Okay, well I'm going to say, uh, yes. Tell me answer then, Galfling. Augra snaps impatiently. Jen is in a swampland. Okay. Luckily the the, um, the game's going to wait on me here to uh, to divulge some things. So I, I the riddle that we need to answer is the one that was given to us um, by the mystic, uh, the mystic who raised us, um, who we spoke to at the beginning of the game. So the riddle is, what do the Sun Brothers quarrel about? And I was looking in vain. I kind of, I don't know why, I kind of had the expectation that somewhere in the game, up to this point, um, would give us some context for that. Maybe like a traditional story about the the Sun Brothers, um, because there are multiple suns in this world, and whether whether that would have inspired some mythology. Um, so whether that would have been represented uh, with a bit of text or visually, or been alluded to in any way. It has not, unfortunately. Um, so I was struggling to work out what the answer might be just by itself because 
there's n in that riddle there's not really much implicit uh, and they kind of the I guess there are I don't know what I don't know what you'd what you'd hang a solution on there really because you've got uh, the unusual fact that there are multiple sons son brothers uh, and then you've got to think of any connections between those things and um, brothers and quarreling and it could be anything brothers can quarrel about anything siblings can quarrel about anything um, so yeah I was I was pretty stumped to be honest and I admit I, I have had to look the answer up um, so if anybody knows I, I, I haven't been able to find any reasoning anywhere if anybody knows how we're supposed to arrive at this answer other than kind of plucking it out of the air um, through guesswork then please do let me know. I'd, I'd love to know. I'll I'll do a bit more digging once I've um, fully finished the game. Maybe look at some other playthroughs that people have done and see if um, there's something we've missed uh, that would tip us off as to this answer. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the answer is. It is Moon Daughters, which is interesting. Um, so if we are we going on the basis of um, like gender and romance stereotypes where brothers would argue over sisters but then why is the answer not moon sisters and why is it moon daughters anyway I think we can get away with this so if we um, amusingly if you try this moon Chen Khan the vines are binding him too tightly so <laughs> Uh, what what we can do here is um, any of the verb based inappropriate things that the game says why on earth would you want to do that to in any other circumstances kind of implies that you would you would perfectly be able to do it by giving you this response instead but let's put moon daughters in because as we know that's the uh... well I, you know I'll show you so if you put moon sisters in that is not accepted Jen doesn't know what a sisters is but obviously Jen knows what a daughters is there you go, Moon Daughters. Very good, cackles Ogra. She orders the vines to let go of Jen, and you get this delightful image. How good's that? Uh, what should we do now? Uh, talk Ogra? Talk a little bit more. Before Jen can even catch his breath, Ogra goes north to her observatory. Jen, sensing that something important is about to happen, follows close behind. Jen is in the observatory of Augra, watcher of the heavens and keeper of secrets. Augra turns to Jen and says, What do you, what do you want? In that Augra type way, you know? Uh, yeah, I'll backtrack a little bit to so we're, excitingly we're on to progress now. While I was trying to find out the solution to the uh, Sun Brothers Moon Daughters riddle uh, with some circumspect uh, search engine use, one of the things I did discover was that on the official Dark Crystal website, darkcrystal.com, they've archived a recreation of this game, um, which I thought might just be a one-for-one -one, uh, transposition to a web-based format um, with updated graphics. Um, it's got more uh, more sophisticated pixel graphics than the Apple II, obviously, but it's a much condensed version. So. You get multiple choices for each action, and within you don't really get a choice of where to go. You just get a choice of what to do. So within about four screens, you've got to this point. And when Augra asks you for the solution to the riddle, you just tell her. It just says "Moon Moon Daughters" on the screen. Uh, so that's one of the ways uh, you could find out. It's also mentioned in every walkthrough, but every walkthrough that I've seen uh, doesn't give any reason for that. But the, the most delightful thing I wanted to mention was that, uh, by accident, I had found that on that page with the uh, the recon, recreated game on the Dark Crystal website, uh, you know what, let's see if I can link to it. Can I link to that? So anybody interested can... Uh... Yeah, there you go, that should appear on screen now. Um, anybody who wants to can have a look at that. That's where their updated game is. 
But on the same page, there's also a link to a PDF of the original manual. It's a scan of the original manual, which I couldn't find for love the money anywhere else while I was preparing to play this game. Um, so that's delightful. Uh, it and that's uh, on the credits page. So this is more more comprehensive than the abridged version that appears in the manual for the Roberta Williams collection, which is where uh, I've got the game from. It's a uh, it's a more lavishly illustrated and more uh, more detailed, slightly more detailed instruction book, um, and that's where Moby Games got their credits for. Um, is I read out some some credits for the graphics artists last time, um, but also what was interesting to me was they credited Augra's song, so the the part of the manual that was written uh, in first person by Augra to J J Llewellyn, who is the credited author, although they may be uh, a pseudonym, of the book The World of the Dark Crystal, which was um, kind of written in various different characters as if the world of the Dark Crystal is real. Um, but a lovely excuse to uh, make a kind of a coffee table sized book um, full of the concept art by Brian Froud. And it's a lovely book. Um, but that made me think, well, maybe I need to look in there to see, uh, find out things about suns and moons. Um, but while the suns are mentioned in relation to their conjunction, nothing about moons. So it's a nice. It might, I encourage you to, if you're interested in the game, to have a look at that PDF of the uh, the manual because it's a it's an interesting artifact. Um, and it's just a nice thing by itself. Um, I'll give you some background to the game. All right. Well, that's uh, that's diversion enough. I am gonna nip off just for one second because I haven't got a cup of water with me, but I desperately need one. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, folks, we're back. So, um, let's let's keep playing. So, all returns to Genesis. What you want? Um, we want a crystal. Sh oh no! Oh, <laughs> my brain. Uh, I also want to fight Crystal Shard. Because that is what we came for, I think. Ogre cackles. That all? Why not say so? She sets four shards on the table: a blue one, a green one, a violet one, and an orange one. Interesting. Um. Well, you think the violet one would be the one because the dark crystal does look quite purple. Um, I never could figure out which shard belonged to Crystal, Ogre says. Maybe you can. Only can take one shard with you, though. And once you pick, not allowed to change mind. So choose carefully. Ah, that's a beautiful image. Hmm. Uh, right, so I think. Well. So we've got we've got the flute, right? And in the film, Joan plays the flute to make one of the crystals glow to work out which is the correct and which are the frauds. So let's try that. Oh, that's slightly strange. What? The blue shell begins to glow and sounds the same chord back. Okay, get blue crystal. Oh, pound blue crystal. Now we'll. Hang on. So I'm putting in three words here. Will the game understand what I'm trying to tell you? They will. Thanks, game. Okay. Talk Augra. I'm not really sure how we progress from here. Tell Augra what? Um, look, Augra. It's going to be uncomplimentary again. Yeah. Orgo is extremely ugly with only one eye and horns on her head. Orgo is fine. What are you talking about? Orgo is delightful. Um. Uh. I guess look observatory. Let's get some detail while we're here. The observatory is a domed building containing a huge spinning model of the three suns and their planets. What about those moon doors, eh? There is a hole in the ceiling for observing the heavens. A door opens to the south, and along with the west wall, there is a along the west wall there is a small window. Okay. Uh, look, window. Jen notes there's nothing unusual. 
Okay. So, I'm not quite sure how we progress from here. Uh, interesting. I will save the game. I think that might be prudent. Uh, I agree to the terms of saving the game. I'd like this to be slot C, please. Um, I'm going to put my save game disk in. Save it. Switch back. Um, so I can't talk. Can I go? Can I go window? Oh. Jen finds himself mired to up to his knees in an eerie bog. Luckily, the shallowness of the swamp here offers him at least the possibility of escape. Interesting. Well, so was something else supposed to happen before this this occurred? Do you think? I'm not sure. I'm going to restore and try the it's going south. I think was our other option. Let's try. I want slot C, please. I'll do a disk swap, thanks. And then we'll do this one. Alright. Uh, what if I look crystal? Crystals. Look crystal? Crystal what? Oh, look crystal shard. Honestly. Crystal what? So, tell Ogre? Yeah, tell Ogre about it. Tell Ogre what? Um, ask help? Jen shouts help! Unfortunately his call is not answered. Um, yeah, so I definitely can't talk to Ogre, right? Oh! Oh, if you take too long, then this happens. It freezes with fear as a vicious horde of Garthen. Where is it? The evil Skeksis launch a surprise attack on the observatory. Right, okay, so um, I think you were supposed to try a few things out before you worked out which crystals to take. And then this happens. There it is. Oh! That's interesting. Too late, a powerful claw flashes out. Jen is in the clutches of the dreaded Garth. With the capture of the Gelfling, the last hope for the fulfilment of the prophecy dies. The crystal, unhealed, remains darkened, and at the hour of the great conjunction of the three suns, the rule of the evil Skeksis is reconfirmed forever. Would you like to play again? Oh, I think Orgo looks furious in that picture. Uh, yeah, let's, let's play again. Let's restore the game uh, to slot C. Uh, I guess I'll see if I can go south without the Gartham arriving. That might be uh, something worth investigating anyway, isn't it? Um, okay. Yeah, so you can only go Oh, excuse me. Go window. Hopefully, they let you do that. He jumps. Jen jumps to safety, and none too soon. Glancing over his shoulder, he sees that the Gartham have captured Orgra and set her observatory on fire. Okay, so you get that bit of story that you don't get. You just jump out of the window straight away. Jen finds herself mired up to his knees in an eerie bog. Luckily, the shallowness of the swamp here offers him at least the possibility. Of escape. Uh, well, that so that makes more sense uh, in context of having escaped. So the, I just want to check on the map actually um, whether that was the same as this central screen uh, you've got for the swamp area, but it's not quite, is it? Dun's doing uh, a different action pose, and the the environment is slightly different as well. So I'm not quite sure how or where this connects to anything. Um, so, I guess south? Oh, okay, so that's back 
where we were. So can we go back north from here? Yeah, interesting. We couldn't do that before. And then we go north again. To north and west, the bog becomes too deep to cross. Well, that suggests that one could go east. Okay. Uh, at least that gives me that gives me some somewhere to uh, to put some of these uh, new map squares. One of the interesting things that um, the full manual for the game does is um, at the end of its tip section it does give you um, an idea, give you a diagram of how you can do like a bubble map to map map stuff out which is, is a really helpful hint. It's um, yeah far far more helpful than uh, than previous uh, previous manuals for games of this type have been or my, uh, my eraser for this map is woefully inadequate. Um, I was doing something arty with it before. I want something a bit more pragmatic. Oh, thank you. Basic, yes, that's the word. I need something basic. Um, how's my... Oh, no goodness, then that's not right. Okay. Um, I need this to be this, don't I? With that. Yes, that's fine. That's fine, thanks. Okay, so yeah, so this is, if you've joined us for the first time for one of these streams, this is one of those, uh, those moments where uh, I might go silent for a minute and, uh, and just, just do a little bit of drawing. So please, please feel free to hang out. Okay, folks, I think that will do for that bit of the map. Let's try going east. All the territory to the east is aflame, uh, as is much of the, dis the surrounding countryside. Travelling in that direction is out of the question. Oh, okay. So you can only go south, right? Interesting. Uh, well, I'll try. I haven't actually tried west. Yeah, no. Okay, so that so that's confusing because I'm not sure where we can go unless something else has changed. I'm kind of reluctant to go back to the location where I know we usually get stuck in the mud because I don't think that will have changed. Oh, we could probably go to the place with the tangly vines again because that will be probably be different this time, probably. Um, which is to the east of us, so let's do that. Oh. Can I go east? And can't the vines are binding him too tightly? Oh man, what is happening? Why, is, why are the vines still here? Oh, this is weird. Oh, 
Oh, too bad. Jen will never get free from the violence. The Gelfling, therefore, is unable to complete the quest for which destiny has chosen him. And the world of the Quistle is condemned to remain under the spell of evil throughout all eternity. Oh, so without the help of Augra, that's impassable. So we need to go back to where we came from then, don't we? Uh, okay. Alright, well this is loading back up, I'm gonna sup some more. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna go south to trigger the Garth thing, because otherwise the rest of the story doesn't make sense. You'd be a bit perplexed as to why half the country was on the countryside was on fire without this bit. So we'll make sure that happens. Um, I think we'll probably just need to go back to where we came to the swamp, but we were told that we'd lost our lily pad, which we'd sailed across on. So I'm not sure how we'd cross it, unless a new path opens up, which it might have done. So this is where we were before with a crystal bat. Yep. Uh, can we go east? No, we can go west. Nope, can we go south? Swamp looks deep and dangerous, it appears to be a sign of a gentle attempt at crossing, which is in a swampland. Uh, so then, climb tree. Okay, nothing special up the tree. Uh, so we'd have to go north. Excuse me. Go north. I'm oh, sorry. Go north. Well, then the only other option is west, isn't it? Where we usually get stuck in the mud. Ah. <gasps> Sinking to his waist, Jen has become hopelessly mired in a boggy section of the Great Swamp. With each passing moment, he slips further into the all-consuming muck. Call help. Jen cries, help. The girl grabs a long branch and helps Jen out of the bog. <gasps> Please insert disc two, side A. Let's return. Okay, let's do it. We're on 2A now. This is exciting. <gasps> the girl smiles and says, I am Kira, and this fuzzy creature is my pet Fizzgig. I thought I was the, uh, the only living Gelfling, but then I guess you must have thought the same thing. Jen and Kira have entered a great forest. They are on the bank of a wide river which flows south. By the side of the river is the discarded shell of a giant beetle. I think we know what we need to do with that. Um, but first of all, let's look Kira. This is really nice. So the uh, the stuck in the mud thing was a, a setup. Oh my goodness! Jim finds himself staring into the eyes of a beautiful female Gelfling. Let's look at what we to do. What do we stare into if we look at Fizzgig? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm type that incorrectly. Fizzgig. Oh, look. Fizzgig. The creature bears his many rows of pointed teeth and says, Grrr. What if I talk to Kira? Oh, Kira. How's that going? Using a girlfriend power called dream fasting, Jen and Kira are able to share thoughts and feelings without even having to speak. It's nice. Um, right, should I dry and draw this? I don't... I don't feel like this is necessarily going to be connected to anything else, but I'll pop it on the the map next to this. Why not?
Okay, yeah, that'll do for a little bit. Well, what I'm thinking is we're going to use this shell as a boat and probably get off at the place um, where we saw the river in our other section in the forest area. That's what I'm thinking will happen. So let's do a uh, use shell command and see if that works. Um, can I sail the shell? Can I get the shell? The beetle shell is too heavy to carry. Okay, um, can I turn the shell? With a mighty heave, they turn over the beetle shell, exposing a small pouch which has been hidden under the shell's hollow underside. Oh, that wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, get a pouch? I love that the, um, the illustration changed to reflect that. Look for his gig. Pouch is closed. Oh, open the pouch. Okay, I'm going to look at the pouch now I've opened it. Are you going to be more forthcoming? Pouch is full of smoke seeds. What are smoke seeds? Look, smoke seed. No, oh, Jen doesn't know what smoke is. Okay. Um, use. Can I now use the shell? Um, go shell. Go shell. Ah. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, look how happy Fizzgig is. Jen, Kira, and Fizzgig climb into the overturned beetle shell and cast off into the current. Downstream. They beach the shell and make their way on foot to the pod village. Well, that jumped ahead of me. Fantastic. Oh, so that was like a cutscene. Amazing. Well, a different version of the. Uh oh. Why, are the crystal... Why is the crystal bat here? Jen and Kira have entered the pod village, the home of the gentle forest folk who have sheltered Kira since her early childhood. To his horror, Jen sees a crystal bat hovering overhead, its crystal eye is staring directly at him. Um, that's not good. Is there anything we can do about that? Is there anything we're supposed to do about that? I suppose is what I should also ask. Um, okay, I'm going to change our maps back. So, if I write that one up and get this one back. Let me just check how that this looked before. Yeah, so I think this is a a substantial redraw of the the Podney village we had before because there was a character more uh, at the bottom edge of the screen and not uh, playing an instrument up here. Looks like uh, Jen might be dancing as well, which is cool. Um, talk, Kira. Um, no, we're doing fasting. Okay. Um, well, should we do the usual and hit the bat? Or Jen can act, the bat flies away. Hmm. But it's still on screen. Okay. Well, or oh, can we go house? Go house? What? A missed celebration? Oh, Jen and Kira here are. Fearful clattering sound. Horn looms a guard them. One of the menacing beetle like warriors who. Oh! So the Skeksis. And the crystal bat's still there. Um, run! Running as fast as they can, Jen and Kira escape the unbelievably strong, incredibly slow at Gartham. This time. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh not another bat. This, so this is intriguing. So we were able to outrun them this time, although we couldn't when we were solo. And um, we've ended up at this. Oh yeah. So 
we've got sort of an underlay of Fizzgig and Kira in this screen, um, which was previously uh, a solo, a solo one for Jen. Um, and the text change reflect that they're together. So Jen and Kira are treading through a forest that has grown here, undisturbed for centuries. The silence has a soothing effect on them, but there seems to be a crystal bat as well. Oh my goodness. So, um, we can't, I mean, we could normally go anywhere else from here. I don't think that's going to have changed. No, so we can only go back to the village as per... Oh no! We need to go stand in what remains of the pod village. There is no sign of life and the homes of the villagers have been partially destroyed. Uh, still a crystal bat, okay. I don't know quite how we're going to deal with this crystal bat. Um, but let's try and get to the... Uh... Oh man, I, I really uh, admire how many different screens they implemented for this to um, represent a location of the different states. I think that um, is quite an advancement actually on the other uh, high-res adventure games I've played from Sierra. Um, it's kind of uh, it's quite different to their um, third-person uh, adventure games as well. Um, but I like it. I think it's a good it's a good way of communicating the story. Okay, so we're back on this disc. The elfling pair are wandering through a primeval forest. Strange creatures peer down at them from the from their perches. Uh, to his horror, Jen sees a crystal bat. Uh, his crystal eye staring directly at him. Um, so that's interesting. I uh, I'm still admiring how um, how everybody fits into the composition now. Um, that that's a very clever thing they've done. Um, uh, if we go south, we can get the sling. If we go west, we can go to the town. Let's go to the town. Or the. Uh... Okay. I don't care. I've wandered into the ruins of what appears to have been a gulping village. They're standing in front of a large wall. Nearby are two flat stones. So they're still still this guy. Um, so what are we supposed to do here then? Um, what if I do look wall? Oh, okay. Um, search ruins? If I sit stone Momentary tremor shakes the ruins, and the wall emits a mysterious rumbling sound. Oh. Well, now that looks significantly different. What if I look at the wall? There's some unusual hieroglyphics on the wall. Read wall? Dealing with the wall. Uh, so... Am I supposed to put in read hieroglyphics? I'm pretty sure hieroglyphics is a longer uh, string than you can handle, parser. Oh, no, apparently not. Including the hieroglyphics are pictographs of a two pronged flute, a crystal shard, a female gelfling, and a castle. Among, also among the symbols uh, on the walls, a drawing of a triangle inscribed in a circle. Okay, here yeah, those are all thematically related things to to this. Well, that's that's cool, um, but I don't know if that's getting us out of this situation. So, should we go west? Oh, here we go. We have a, a new character. A beckoning creature drifts into the ruins and says, "Once was Chamberlain a Skeksis." 
Then new ruler gained power. Banish me from Carcel. I'm tired of killing one piece. Help you heal the crystal? Follow me. The creature then heads south. Anything to say about that, Kira? Um. Well, hmm. So. Alright, let's try it. Oh. Jane Kira should have known better than to trust the Skeksis. <laughs> the Chamberlain leads them into an ambush, from whence they are carried off to the castle and taken under guard to the Crystal Chamber. <gasps> Whoa. I mean, we got there quick. Jane Kira and Fisky are standing beside their captors, the Skeksis, at the moment of the Great Conjunction. As the light from the three suns shines down upon the Crystal Chamber, the crystal turns even darker. The energy it emits is absorbed by the Skeksis. Their reign is reconfirmed forever, and evil triumphs over all. We still didn't get rid of that crystal bat. Interesting. Okay, so unlike uh, the film, the Chamberlain isn't going to lead us uh, temporarily or out of the way of the uh, out the Skeksis, which is kind of what I was hoping would, that would lead to. But obviously, that's not the case. That's fine. Um, I need to restore again. Uh, that is. What? Oh, I might have to. Uh, I can't remember when I saved last. Oh, well, we will find out. Uh, I think C, I haven't saved in slot D, have I? So, I might just do all the crystal thing again? Okay. Well, we can power through it because we know what we're doing, don't we? Yeah. Alright, well let's... Should we trigger everything? Let's trigger everything, why not? Okay. Uh, apologies for jumping out the window. Olgra, good luck. And then this is... South. And west. Okay. Um, and call help. And then Kira's going to help us out. Then we change disc over um, briefly. Um, so I think I'll do everything up to the point where we get in the shell um, and save it then. I'm curious whether the crystal bat thing is just ha just happens every time or whether that's randomised to some extent. It seems like if you keep on the move you can kind of get away from it. Oh, that's interesting. So it said, oh, uh, Jane isn't able to move the shell by himself with help from Kiri, right? So I haven't done the talk to Kiri yet. Is that what happens? Using a girlfriend power called Dreamfast, and Jen and Kiri are able to share thoughts and feelings without even having to speak. So does that mean that we can automatically do things as a, as a pair? Maybe. Okay. Oh, um, ask Kira? Oh, turn, turn shell was what I said before, wasn't it? With the mighty heat, they turn over the beetle shell, exposing... So I wonder why... Move wouldn't, but then turn does. Okay, well, we, the pouch is there. So I'll do the same pouchy things. Interesting wrinkles. 
in old adventure games. Let's get the pouch. Oh, that's not how you spell pouch. Yeah, pouch. Let's open the pouch. Let's look at the pouch. Again, not how you spell pouch. Okay. Uh, what if I look seeds actually? The seeds are bluish grey and appear to be hollow. Hmm. I don't know what they do. Anyway, uh, can I close the pouch? Pooch. Close the pooch. Okay. Uh, so don't spill out, you know? Okay, now I'm going to save the game. Um, happy with those conditions. Uh, this is going to be D. Um, and then I need to enter my save disk. And then swap back. And then we go. And then we can go shell, I think, at this point. I don't know if I've read all this out before. Jen and Kira have entered the Pond Village, the home of the gentle forest folk who have sheltered Kira since her early childhood. And then the crystal bat is there, so it probably is mandatory. What if we talk to the people? We'll just tell Jen that the phrase... Oh, so we get the same dialogue as before. Well, it's not so helpful. Let's go south this time if we get a choice. Oh no. Okay, so if we try and go anywhere, then we get the Gotham around. Or if we run, we get away. Too late. Oh, if that's randomised. That's pretty shoddy, isn't it? Oh. I'm not so happy about that game. Alright then, well I'll just, uh, I'll go silent for a second and get us back to where we were. But well, here's hoping we can run this time. Ah, run as fast as they can. Jen and Kira escape. They're unbelievably strong. But incredibly slow to take off this time. We suspect the bat will be dogging us if we step in the way. Yeah. You know, ah, oh, you know what? Having this extra screen here, which is a dead end for intents and purposes with nothing in it, does, in this, for this setup, does force us to double back through the village to see the destruction, which is really interesting. Hmm. Well, let's try going west this time, because we can still get to the, uh, <gasps> Look at his kicks so grumpy. Oh, so that I, I'm very much appreciative of how these uh, screens were created for dual, dual compositions. Jen and Kira are strolling in a forest in towering trees. Birds are singing, and a creature stares at them from behind a large rock upon which a spiral has been carved. That's interesting because in this playthrough, I haven't been there to uncover the spiral. Hmm, interesting. Touch spiral. Oh, okay. Well, let's go south then. I mean, I think we probably need to get to the land striders ultimately, but if I can get the sling as well on the way, that that would be helpful. Um, that would be helpful. Okay. Let me get the right D skin. Yep. 
Well, let's do let's do what we did before because that seems to work. Uh, it triggers definitely triggers the chamber to turn up. Um, so if I look at the wall, and that tells me that there are hieroglyphic hieroglyphics, excuse me. And then if I look at the hieroglyphics. Um, I get a description of those again. Um, so we seem to be fulfilling all those requirements. We've got Kira with wings, we've got the flute, we've got the shard, um, the uh, the circle with the triangle and it's kind of the symbol of the conjunction. Uh, so and we go, so if I say we want to go, what do we get up? Does that do it? Momentary tremor shakes the ruins. The wall emits a mysterious rumbling sound. Hmm. Oh! Hang on, there's no Chamberlain. That's weird. Let's go east. Oh, now he's here. Okay. Uh, head south. Let's not go south, Kira. Let's go east. Nice. Um, let's go sell. Okay, so I'm going to get the sling. Go back north. Go back west. Go back west. Oh, look! Just oh, what? I mean, if I didn't have to uh, escape from a crystal bat, I'd happily wander around every screen here just to see how it looks with all the characters in. Um, but I think what we should really do here is go north to where the uh, land striders are. And um, I think Kira should hopefully be able to help us out with that. And then hopefully we've done this area to the best of our abilities. Here we go. Jen and Kira are on the hill of the land striders. The long known beasts are grazing here. To his horror, Jen sees a crystal bat. Hopping overhead, his crystal eyes staring directly at him. So, what if we try and ride the land striders now Kira's with us? Jen and Kira, still carrying her faithful pet fizz gig, climb onto the backs of the two land striders. Jen and Kira are on the hill of the land striders. Amazing! Um, so, we want to go. Should I now set. Oh, you know what? I will save the game. Save early, save often. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so this will be slot E. I'm going to try and head to the cliff, but there are three kind of cliff options. Um, I don't know which one's good. Should we just try heading straight west? Yes, we could. Uh, uh, yep, so E. Just getting a bit ahead of myself there. Um, save game disk is in. Swap in the back. Okay, well let's go. Let's just keep going west and see what happens. Okay. Fascinating. So are these screens made? It looks like these screens are made for having. The, the Landstrider graphics on as well. So, we've reached the eastern edge of a deep chasm, on the far side of which a vast barren desert. This horror agency is a crystal bat. Um, let's jump chasm. Come on, let's do it. With their long legs, Landstriders have no trouble carrying Jen, Kira, and Fizzgeek safely to the other side of the chasm. <gasps> Whoa, look at that precipitous drop. You know, I think the crystal bat might be bugged because it's. 
I don't know. I feel like something should have happened to it by now. Anyway, Joe and Kira are now on the west side of the treacherous chasm. An arid desert begins here and extends beyond slightly to the west. Well, um, a time for a new map uh, section, I think. So if I do a little bit of work here, pop that one off, pop this one in, I will do a little something there, and then do a little something here, and then we will be ready to, to give this a go, I think. Well, let's start here. Um, so I mean, I think while on land striders, we should be pretty safe. Because they, um, at least in terms of the, the fiction, they can usually defeat the garden. Well, I'm, yeah, so I'm uh, a little concerned that we may have missed some things because we seem to be thundering through the storyline. Um, but I, I mean, I don't know. Well, it feels like we've hit what we needed to. I'm still not sure what's going on with that crystal bat, to be honest. I'm going to leave the figures out because I'm guessing maybe uh, different figures can appear here depending on what's, what state of ridership you're in. Uh, let's go south. Up more chasm. The Elklings are riding through the desert. Nearby is the western edge of a deep chasm. Cool, okay. Uh, so I'll pop uh, one of these here. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know if this mirrors what we could do on the other side or not whether this might end up being a maze, because I don't think we've had a proper maze, although we were warned of them. So, uh, I mean, now might be the time. Uh, Okay, um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now. Uh, well, let's just try going south here because we couldn't in yes, yeah, so we couldn't on the opposite side. So we can probably go one screen north of where we jumped over. Oh, nice! Jenny Kira riding through a hot, dry desert. Looking off to the west, they can see waves of heat. Rippling in the distance, there's a deep chasm to the east. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if you can if you can get here with um, uh, just on foot, either as Jen or as uh, as Jen with Kira. How this would look, uh, but that might not be the case. You might only be able to get here with the Gartham. No, uh, a land strike. No, sorry. Don't leave the Gartham out of there. Okay, uh, yeah, so there's kind of, it's showing us the horizon, so I think um, this is probably as far north as we're supposed to be able to go. What an interesting angle. Yeah, we can't go north. So, well, let's just try west then. Ooh. Riding atop the land strikers, Jen and Kira are quickly making their way through the hostile desert. That's an image, isn't it? I love it. Okay, let me get that on screen for you folks. So the, um, I'd say the artwork on this side has become a bit more sparse, 
but it's still striking. Uh, yeah, so some of the some of the detail has fallen away, but then we are in a desert, so maybe that's maybe that's why. So I don't know. I don't know if this crystal that I keep spitting is gonna be any bother really. I'm thinking maybe if we try and get it, then. The, I'll leave the figures out and just do the, the landscape, I think, from from this point. Uh -huh. I kind of know what's, what's going on on that front. I wonder if we can go south from here. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, that's a nice close-up. Jen and Kira are crossing a great desert on the backs of the Landstriders. He grows more oppressive by the minute. Okay. So that suggests to me, don't waste your time mapping this area out. You need to get to somewhere cooler, which is an interesting environmental uh, hazard to put in there. Um, love that that close up. It's absolutely fabulous. You kind of wish that Crystal Bat would just uh, disappear, though. Right? Yeah, I'm going to put the figures in this one because uh, um, otherwise, there's not really a lot going on. There wouldn't be a lot going on. Be sport for choice picking out a thumbnail for this uh, for this episode when it's uploaded to YouTube. Lots of great art. Yeah, that's good. Um, well, you know what? I'm a bit fed up. Let's try and hit the bat. With what? With sling. The bat is too quick and flits aloft untouched. Okay, let's get out. Ooh. To the last place, Jen and Kira race at breakneck speed across the desert. Okay, I mean, there's another cool, very cool illustration. I just need to do that particular thing. Uh, let's shift this up a bit. Let's get another map square in. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking uh, we might come a cropper here in this particular run, but uh, I think it's worth it to map out some of these areas um, see what we can do so at the moment this um, I'm not conscious of this being a maze it just seems to be an area to get across and admire the wonderful artwork uh, which there is plenty um,
that one. Um, so if this is a uh, a pretty straightforward uh, area, then we should be able to go south here. No. Well, let's go west. We'll do kind of another column of of this map. Things are running through a dry, parched, empty land. The uh, sense of direction um, keeps changing interestingly. With each, uh, with each screen we go to, kind of not really a sense of any particular direction being west. Again, the crystal map. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can do anything about that crystal now, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if these compositions are meant to function uh, in any other way, like the others. So in the um, in the story of the film, Lance Riders are the ones who take uh, Jen and Kira right up to the entrance to the Palace of the Crystal, the Castle of the Crystal, I suppose it is. Uh, and then uh, things things speed along quite quickly from from there, really. Uh, so I wonder if we're just sort of a few screens away from the castle. I don't know how um, how things will play out in the castle because obviously uh, in the film the characters get split up um, and they both have their own uh, own trials to overcome to get to the the very finale uh, and make sure that everything is is all right. Well, uh, I think if I'm going the same path, I'll go north from here. Ooh, it's quite moody, isn't it? Uh, Jen and Kira have entered a bleak, barren land. There is not a sign of life anywhere. The air here is still and sinister. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, that's quite quite striking, that image. If you didn't have a crystal bat in it. A horizon there. Yeah, that'll do for a depiction of that. Alright, let's head north. Oh, can't go north. Oh, so I can go to go, let's just double back a bit. East. And then north. And then west. Oh, excuse me. I haven't acknowledged the extra text. 
They can't. Oh, so f funneling? Funneling is happening. I think. I think funneling is happening. Okay, well, let me mark off some dead ends here. Uh, one there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. I think there was one down there. Let me just check. I believe I checked the softly most extremity of this. Yep, yeah, no we can't. And then I'll just go west again. South from here? Oh, you can go south from here. Okay, we slipped it down a bit. Ah, oh, it's the quest. It's the castle. Jen and Kira riding rapidly through the parched, cracked landscape. There's a hideous castle to the west. Okay. The annoyingly, the bat is now in Jen's hair, so that's no good. Okay, interesting. You cheeky little map makers, you. You slip things down a bit. Oh, Fizzkick looks uncertain. Fizzkick is definitely coming with very well in this, uh, this interpretation. Okay. Yeah, okay, sure, that one. I think I got the shape of the, uh, the castle down pretty well there, if I say so myself. Okay, folks, I'm going to just take a uh, brief break for about five minutes or so, and then I'll be right back. I'll leave us uh, with the prospect of the Castle of the Crystal yet to come. Hello, folks. We're back. I was just thinking uh, while I was away about whether this constitutes a, uh, a maze or not. I don't think it does necessarily. Um, it's just more kind of an area to explore, isn't it? Uh, kind of like the, the forest in size. So I'm thinking if we're going to get a maze, a proper a proper adventure game of this era kind of maze, I think that's going to be inside the castle, isn't it? Again, quite a few um, parallels between um, this and um, Wizard and the Princess for me. But I guess both are kind of drawing on similar structures, which is interesting enough. Um, okay, I I think the that's going to lead us to the castle, but I want to check other directions first. Oh, you can go more south. That's interesting. Jen and Kira cannot believe the ugliness and emptiness of this land. They would just like to get through it quickly. A yada yada crystal that. Interesting. I'm not quite sure why there's a, a part here. You couldn't get to this any other way than past the one that showed you where the the castle is. So that's interesting. There don't seem to be any adverse environmental effects uh, that I can detect, even though they were kind of. Uh, implied in terms of like the heat being uh, exhausting, things like that. Uh, the Gotham don't seem to be 
um, likely to catch up with us, at least not at the rate we're travelling. Sorry, Jen, I've d uh, done you another disservice, I think, in this rendition. Uh, I guess they can't all be, be stunning miniatures, can they? Uh, that big old, big old land strider area up there. I hope, uh, I hope, viewers, that you are uh, paying close attention to Fizz Geek's changing expressions in these uh, in these screens. They're quite delightful. Well, can we go further south then? We can't. Can we go back uh, west? We can. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, there, are, there are cracks in the ground which seem to radiate from an ugly castle right in the north. Okay. So I think we've accidentally gone the, uh, the right way there. Not my intention. Well, let's just. Uh, no, we might as well record this, won't we? Let's be sensible. Let's be sensible about this. I mean, at this rate, I'll just be glad to get rid of the crystal bar, I think. Just to make a... I really admire the um, the images of the land striders in in motion. Um, I think in their depiction here, we do them more justice than the um, than they could in live action, actually. So that was west from there. So well, let's try and double back east. I'm thinking we probably won't be allowed to. No, we can't. Uh, well, let's go back north. And then... There was one more screen north from here, wasn't there? Well, let's see if we can go west from here. We can. Okay, looking to the south across the dry cracked landscape, Jen and Kira can make up the turrets of a decayed castle. Oh, okay, so I see what's happening here. So we've um, seen it from this screen here, we've seen it from this screen here, and now we're seeing it from this screen here, which I've yet to draw. Uh, oh, hang on, and there's one further. Oh, okay, I need to fill. In a few more little indicators as well, don't I? Um, so that's that's good. Okay, this is going to be. Uh, I think I know ultimately where we're going to be funneled toward, but I kind of want to fill in the details so I know I've I've got everywhere. Yeah, I think the things that really strike me about um, the use of graphics here is how much atmosphere they add to the game, um, and how much uh, 
a sense of a dimensional world because they they uh, take often take very different viewpoints from each other um, while still having a fairly good uh, consistency of direction better than some games for sure uh, of, the, of a similar type uh, in terms of uh, how the graphics add to the gameplay as such I don't know um, that they do but I don't think anything I think anything critical is described in the text it's probably better described and pointed out in the text than it is by the um, by the images. So I think they're not uh, they're not pulling a lot of weight um, in terms of we can't go north. Okay, not pulling a lot of weight in terms of uh, gameplay features. So can I go continue to go west from here? Oh, excuse me, west from here. Oh gosh, you can. Nothing but the dry, barren land. This is the most desolate place Jen and Kira have ever been. Oh, that's weird. So you can continue to go. I wonder why. I wonder why that's a thing. Well, now you've got me wondering if I need to head off in the wrong direction before I get to the castle. Yeah, now I'm wondering if there's a secret timer in here that if you take too long, everything will go go wrong and the conjunction will happen. You know what we could do? We could look suns, couldn't we? Oh, they're almost conjunct. You know what? And there's even a blooming bat there. Not happy about it. Well, this is uh, slight, slightly weird, I find, that we can kind of, we can get to like the end game location and then carry on riding past it. Bit weird. Can you go further west? No, you go north. Oh, maybe it's just like a little, just a little bit extra. Just a little bit extra. So that you've got the possibility of going a little bit too far. Um, but then you'll have to loop back around. Um, so I want to check out if there's anywhere we can go from this uh, screen here. I suspect probably not, because that seems to be um, what's happening here. But I just want to try it out because you never know. You never know with these games. So I want to go north from here. And then if I can go west, excuse me, west from here. No, you can't. Okay, cool. That is good to know. So, uh, Um, okay, so where haven't I marked off? Oh, I'm pretty sure that was that was a nail, wasn't it? The south bit here. So then, um, that's where the castle's going to be, almost certainly. And we can't go anywhere else around there, so just mark those off. Can't go there, can't go there. Oops, that was entirely the wrong thing to make. Fabulous. Uh, so, I guess I'm going to avoid going to this middle square for a bit. Let's go um, back down south 
clean it as far as we can. West. West. Yeah, so you can overshoot in this direction as well. Your things are trotting through a lifeless parched land. The soil is dry and cracked. Can I get soil? Oh, get soil. Uh, why would I want to do such a thing? Well, it is an adventure game. It's the kind of thing that I'm. Uh, this game has. These games have programmed me to do is pick everything up. It's very important, I'm told. To pick everything up. It may just be useful in a variety of unexpected ways. So that is west. Okay, so I think from here we won't be able to go south or west anymore. Um, but we probably can go north, will be my my expectation for this uh, this screen. I will test that out once we've uh, popped it on our map here. Right in Jen's eyes, that crystal bat. No respect whatsoever. Do, uh, can we go south? No, nope. can we go west? No, nope. can we go north? Yeah. Cool, so that redirects us to the, uh, the castle as well, which is, is what I would have expected, really. It's nice, so the game's doing a good job there of um, making sure we don't miss where we need to go while not. Or giving us a little bit of latitude to explore around it and get uh, some of the atmosphere in. So the description here is, the emptiness of the landscape is interrupted by a dark and brooding castle silhouetted against the eastern horizon. Yeah. Doing a good job. Doing a good job, game. Proud of you. Oh, hello. Why did you do that? I don't didn't want you to do that. I'd use if you uh, notice any uh, oddities with the map there. Something strange happened.
so we shouldn't be able to go west from here. We should be able to go north into the place we've already seen. Yeah, cool. So that, yeah, that, that defines things rather nicely for us. No, oh no, I didn't want to do that, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, so um, I've had a good old explore and been uh, sort of drifted south and west, but now it's time to engage with uh, the castle, I guess. So we'll go uh, east from here. Yep. And then south, and let's see what happens. <gasps> Jen and Kira have arrived at a ravine surrounding the castle. You must guard them. Dread warriors of destruction are approaching. Guard them attack. Jen, Kira and Fizzgy are thrown to the ground at the edge of the ravine. One landstrider is dead, the other is fighting a losing battle. A Gartham looms over the girlfriends, ready to pounce. The situation appears hopeless. To his horror, Gen sees a crystal bat. <laughs> no, no. Okay, jump ravine. I know what we need to do. <gasps> it doesn't say anything. It just tells me to change the disc. Now that's excitement. Okay. Jen and Kira, with this gig in her arms, are plummeting into a ravine that surrounds the castle. Amazingly, Kira spreads a pair of wings, slowing her fall. Um, can I grab Kira so I don't plummet to my death? Yay! Jen has grabbed hold of Kira, and together they are gliding slowly toward the bottom of the ravine. Ah, oh, and there's Gartham at the top with their, their glowing eyes. This is beautiful. Ah, oh, look at the entrance. Jen, Kira and Fizzgig are at the bottom of a ravine that surrounds the castle. The ravine curves to the east and west. Okay, before them, carved into the rock, is a stone face. Okay, so this might be more of a puzzly section. Well, this calls for a new map entirely, doesn't it? Um, okay, so I'm gonna... How do you hide that? Copy that over here, and then get rid of that, and then make that visible. Here we go. Well, let's so east and west, you say. So let's start in the middle here uh, with something to draw on, such as this. Cool. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, Delightful. So I, th I feel um, lucky in that my familiarity with the film has probably bypassed some trial and error as regards to um, several parts of this session actually, like discovering the right crystal and um, I got a bit lucky with the, uh, the ancient Gelfling city I think. That's more my uh, all my adventure gaming skills uh, coming through there, but then the, this ravine thing as well. Um, I think uh, players who are unfamiliar would uh, probably struggle, although um, there's definitely a hint of wings uh, if you do the... You know what, I guess you don't have to do the... the Gelfling city bit, do you? You probably could just go straight to the land striders and um, and start riding them. <gasps> oh, you know what? You know what's the most exciting thing about this situation right now? No crystal bats. 
Long, long may it stay that way. That's that's my thought. Cool, that kind of does it. So, um, well, let's look at the face. The teeth of the stone monster are actually the metal bars of a gate. Just out of reach behind the bars is a closed door. Hmm. Look, gate. Okay, same text. Um, look, bars. Um, pull bars. Move bars. Right. Bend bars. Change it around to bend. Uh, go face. Go face. Generally, care won't fit through the bars. Okay. So this is a this is a puzzly section. That's cool. Now uh, let's go east. Ah, right at the bottom of the ravine that surrounds the castle. The ravine curves to the east and west before the castle up the stone face. So this is a uh, a maze. Oh, this could be a maze. Where the screens look the same, right? But one of these might actually have a an entrance. Do we think? Could be, couldn't it? Let's try west. Okay. Uh, look face. Um, just out of reach behind the bars is a closed door. Uh, open door. Was that which ran the bars? Um, open bars. 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 It is locked. Okay. You're not. You're yourself. Oh, it is locked. Interesting. Well, so. This suggests if it is a maze, then it's a linear east to west one, or there's a solution that we can come up with here. Uh, so I've got shale, a pair of pebbles, um, a sling, a pouch, uh, the crystal shard, a flute. What if I play the flute? Ah, oh. the blue, um, the blue shard seems back to me. Uh, what if I look at Fizz Geek? Are you doing Fizz Geek? Fizz Geek. Oh, I keep typing it wrong. Fizz Geek. Oh, I messed up somehow. Fizz Geek. Uh, um, use Fizz Geek? How would Jen like to use this gig? Um, eat bars. Yuck. Um, send. Send this gig. That's what you need to do. Where does Jen want to send him? To gate. Oh, Jen doesn't know how to do. Okay. So send Fizz Gig. Can I send? I'm pretty sure you can't understand strings of three words, but send Fizz Gig Gate. I just don't want to send him. Gate. No, that, that those strings don't quite work, do they? Hmm. Okay, well let's turn on, let's test out something. So, I don't know if we need the sling right now. Let's drop the sling, so it's visible. 
I don't know if we were to go um, west, say. Would this be a screen with no sling? Yeah. Okay. Um, look, face. Um, okay, um, west again. So I wonder if there would be a face somewhere that we can get in. Ah, there's the sling. Okay. Um, so it might be a very small loop. Yeah. Um, so that's the same, and if we're to go keep going east. you do loop back round. So it's just got a west screen and an east screen and it comes back around. But if I look ravine, is that the, just the general description again? Makes a great circle around the base of the castle. Smell here is unspeakably awful. Okay. Can we go in the ravine to the castle? Can we look I? Can we look symbol? Jen has seen this symbol before, but can't recall where. Oh. Um, can I use the crystal shard? Oh, Jen does not seem to have it. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Oh, use blue shard? Oh. Use blue crystal shard? Okay, uh, use seeds. I was doing my yet, don't know. Um, hmm. Get sling. Open mouth. Open mouth. It is locked. <laughs> uh, that could be misconstrued. Well, the court, Kira, do you have an idea of what we should do here? Um, we're doing fasting. Uh, oh, can I talk to Fizgig? Uh, could you bear many ways of 20 from the same square? Um, can I throw Fizgig? Uh, could you bear many ways of 20 teeth and says grrrr? Um, uh, can I? I ooh, climb the face. Is that a thing you can do? Water ravine are too steep to climb. Okay. Um, uh, did I try go mouth before? Won't fit through the bars. Okay. Can I cut the bars? No. Nope. Can I saw the bars? Can I um, throw? You know what, let's save the game before I do anything hasty. Um, save game. Yes. Um, I think E would be the next slot. No. Let's do E. Right, throw seeds. When a seed smoke seed hits the ground, it explodes in a dense cloud of smoke. Oh, well that might be handy. Well, remember that for later. Um, well, okay, anything else we can do? Shale, pebbles, sling, pouch of seeds, blue crystal shard, a blue comma crystal shard. So do I need to... Could I use shard? Has, okay, so I need to say shard if I want to use it. Okay. Um, and what else was there? Flute, which I tried playing. I don't think there's much else I can do. Um, what if I make symbol? 
if I draw symbol. Um, uh, it open bars. It's locked. We unlock the bars. Does have the key for this lock? Hmm. Can we get the key? Jane doesn't see it here. Well, I I'm, I'm a bit stuck for now, and it is yeah, it's kind of stream end time, so that works out pretty well. We had a fantastic run today. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely cracking. I didn't think we would get this far this episode. That's um, very exciting. Thank you very much for joining me. If you've watched along live, or if you've watched this as a um, as a vod after the fact, I will pop this up on YouTube in the near future. Probably edit out the bits where I uh, coughed unmuted uh, and the the breaks. I'll um, I'll probably just snip those little bits out. But otherwise, um, it will be as as streamed. Um, yeah, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Everybody, yeah, I can see some names, some names there, lurkers and bots and humans and all sorts. Thank you very much for your company. Uh, if you want to check out more from me, I'll be uh, returning to the Dark Crystal this time next week, next Tuesday. Um, you can check out my YouTube channel in the meantime. There is a link in my Twitch bio, uh, or you can have a look for cat sequences on YouTube. And there are playthroughs of other. Uh, similar adventure games to this, so um, a first couple from Sierra, Mystery House and Wizard of the Princess. You can check out previous streams of those games. I've played other adventure games such as The Feeble Files, uh, and currently playing uh, Divine Divinity, and an interesting semi-text adventure, semi... Uh, not really interactive, but kind of cut-up novel called Portal from 1986 with the Amiga. Um, what else am I currently playing at the moment? Uh, Dune! That's it. The adventure adventure strategy game from uh, Cryo uh, from 1992. Um, so you can check out my channel for all those things um, and you can uh, leave me a tip on coffee. Um, I have a Patreon as well so have a look at any of those things if you are interested. And until next time, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.